And this is a segment of Forever Everson. Also, this feels like what happened when Brodus Clay was having his debut high up vignettes of him being some sort of dangerous, scary monster, with the reality being a dancing fuckasaurus. In this case, Bray Wyatt's return at horror style vignettes leading up to a combination of Pee Wee Herman, Blue's Clues, and Mr. Rogers' Neighborhood. Also, also, what's with the drunk rabbit in the corner? And where was he during the horror movie vignettes? Maybe he should have had one more vignette appear to complete the trio, since we did that puppet buzzard and what looks to be a mix of Sister Abigail and Annabelle's mother. Just in case anybody thinks this is a brand new character likely to ruin Bray Wyatt's career, just look at that smile. If anything, he's more psychotic now than he was before, so calm down and get this a chance, y'all. Also, you can see the obvious blue screen right behind Bray. Forgot to add in more sky backgrounds. We got an old school television, some supposedly dying roses, a creepy painting of a doll, and uh... Uh... I can't... I don't know what the hell's underneath that blanket right beside the door. Either way, further proof this is full of old school nostalgia and sociopathic behavior. This really is a kid's show. But I knew Can children audience noises? Yowie wowie! Yowie wowie? Guaranteed that's what Bray Wyatt would say if he was hosting one of my Sins videos and an extreme moment took place. What was that trick supposed to be anyway? One glove says hurt, the other says heal, but all he did was cover his eyes and make the screen act up like when Hunter Bane hacked into my Sins videos. Thank god I killed him. The fuck was that? Kids would obviously miss the joke, but I'm surprised nobody else commented on the wolf whistle followed by the obvious penis goes into erection mode at the sight of the hot chick noise. I used to be a very bad man. Still are, actually. Matter of fact, this gimmick makes your original gimmick look harmless. And I'm not even kidding. If this show was airing on those children networks I used to watch back in my youth, I'd be binge watching it even as a grown ass adult. This gimmick is absolutely amazing. And all you have to do is believe is let me in. Gross.